when you see that it factor, can you like give an example of what make you feel like, yeah, that, that artist has it. Uh, maybe like an example of, you know, a specific time he did something you saw or it's just in his personality or the talent. Like, what is that for you when you see it? For me, it's an intangible thing. It's like when I first met B.O.B., I was his very first publicist. But that was a almost almost three years in the making because I met him when he was like 16 years old through T.J. Mm. Chapman. And it's like I would run back to the guys at All Hip Hop like, wait till you hear this guy, B.O.B., he's going to be the next Andre 3000. This kid is crazy. He can produce. He raps. He sings. He does everything. And they go, yeah, 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 Dove, you like everybody. Yeah. No, I don't <laughs> like everybody, actually. But I, I, I'm a friendly person. But when it comes to what I love, I'm very, very adamant, right? So to be able to win the Grammy, and you can ask Chuck and Greg at All Hip Hop this, and I love this little story, is that the day that he got nominated for a Grammy, I called Greg specifically and said, tell me I was right. Mm. He's like, you know what, you're right. And then I called Chuck, Chuck, tell me I was right. Okay, you were right. That's all I want to know, I was right. You know, when I first started working with Jim, he was going through the transition of being the guy, you know, in Dipset to being his own star. The it factor is him. First of all, it's a spark. It's like an intangible spark that you just see in a person, right? Mm -hmm. Every person with the it factor is not a celebrity. You can meet people that work at Walmart that have the it factor. We see these influencers. Some of them have the it factor. They're not necessarily famous but they influence because they're special, right? right? So it's just looking this man in his eye and understanding his vision and believing it, that's what I look at. When I met Yo Gotti, he was 10 years in. Five Star Chick had just dropped, it was a hit. He had the remix coming with Nicki Minaj when she was first starting out. He was, you know, Gotti was ahead of his, his peers in so many ways in the, in the street end of things. He just didn't really have the online part. Mm. And I'm blessed to be brought in to work with him. I worked with him initially through the label, but then he hired me. I was with him for almost three years. And in that three years, we've got to teach him how to use social media, teach his team how to use social media and how to have the website work for you in a way that works. And how to, you know, the thing about Gotti is that he's such an exceptional businessman. He really is. Like he's the type of CEO that's going to ask everybody on the team, everyone he trusts, their opinions. But he takes that all and he puts it into a way that works for him. And then whatever he says, that's what we're doing. And you know it's going to work because he's sure-footed about it. Mm. And this is why men like him land on top. The baby, you know, like I said, he stuck to it. He, when the whole, you know, people weren't really paying him attention when he really wasn't getting looks, you know, Arnold Taylor, his manager, you know, who, who founded SCMG and, and, you know, along with Carter, like these guys freaking believed in it and they kept working even when times were hard and they didn't complain. They just kept going and look at them now. SCMG is literally one of the top independent labels in the country. Mm -hmm. out of North Carolina. Like that's one of my favorite success stories. And I'm so proud of them. Mm -hmm. You know, smell the product. Here's another person. She was signed. She was a star. She's always a star. But she was signed to a major label for many years. She didn't really flourish on that label the way she wanted to. She's independent now. She's flourishing more than she ever has in her life because of her, her freedom, right? And, mm -hmm. and see the moves that she's made in her career. She's a boss. Mm -hmm. She knows what she wants, the way she wants it. She goes and gets it. It's like, these are people who, who I, I respect their work ethic, but the it factor is a magical thing. Mm -hmm. 